On this episode of Sweet Point Setter Tales, we introduce juvenile homing pigeons into a new loft and begin our training program with some incredibly talented birds. I'm Wade Kisner and I grew up hunting upland birds. Nothing's better than chasing a couple English setters called Sweet Lou and Adeline. Lou is a master hunter and Adeline is quickly learning the trade. These are some of our tales. Earlier today, I met with Wes Fadenhauer, a breeder of racing homing pigeons, and picked up 10 five-week-old birds for introduction into a new loft. After a two-hour drive home, all the pigeons were no worse for wear. Now the moment of truth, transferring them from the carrier and into the loft without losing one. A pigeon flying away now would be gone forever. They got a little more room to try to get away from me now, so it'll be a little more challenging. Okay, so each one of them is colored a little bit different. This one has a little bit of green, as you can see, around its around its head. And it, it's like a nice bird. Yeah. Who's next? Who wants to come home next? Uh, this one here is a little. Uh, it's got a little more gray, kind of a, a lot more gray on its head and its breast. It's got a little bit of green fluorescence showing up in there, but. Uh, each one of them's got a little different kind of coloring to them. That's a really pretty looking bird there. Okay, you ready to go in the house? There we go. There you go. One of our big challenges is going to be some predators and, you know, hawks, owls, and other kinds of uh, critters that want to try to get in the loft. So we've We've made it pretty tight, but uh, that'll be the big challenge. If we can get through in the next several weeks and keep them alive and keep them healthy. A lot of roadblocks, a lot of challenges to overcome, but the reward is at the end is really gonna be great. You know, having these, uh, these birds available to us right here uh, to train when we need them uh, for dogs like Darby will be, uh, uh, will be fantastic. And that's kind of what we're shooting for. It's been five weeks and we have several homers returning to the loft. The more I'm around these birds, the more I appreciate their intelligence and hardiness. Well, back in June, we got 10 birds, homing pigeons that were five weeks old. We put them in the loft, brand new loft, and uh, we're, we're hoping that they get imprinted on this loft as home and they come back after we use them in our dog, dog training here on the property. Um, I'm, I'm pleased to say that seven of the ten have been printed on the loft and are continuing to come back after we fly them and use them in our dog training. And today we're going to be using a few of the birds out here so you can get an idea how we're using these birds uh, for our dog training purposes out here with not only some young dogs but some of the older dogs to keep them kind of sharp. And so we're going to catch them today and we'll show you what we're going to do with them out here in the field. A small dip net can be useful when catching pigeons for training drills. I feel less pressure today because if one escapes, they should return to the loft. A see-through bird bag allows us to carry the birds as needed in the field. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is your this is a standard bird launcher. There's a lot of different companies that make them. This one happens to be by Dogtra. Um, you can get uh, multiple ones and you can kind of put them in a in a series we just happen to be using one today and it's got a transmitter so once we put a bird in here uh, we'll put uh, the pigeon will go in here and this locks over top of the pigeon and so the pigeon is sitting in there and can't come out and then we'll do our dog work and we bring our dog in to go on point because he smells this pigeon then we can do we can we can decide to launch the bird whenever we need to. Uh, you can see the controller here has several different 
controls. This is obviously number one, so it's set on one. And uh, so once we decide that it's time to launch the bird by push, pushing this left button on the, on the transmitter, you get a, a spring system that kind of, it'll throw the bird in the air and uh, give, the, uh, the, give the bird kind of a chance to get up away from the dog so the dog doesn't catch it. We'll have it loaded out here in the field today. We'll be putting some pigeons in it and you'll see uh, how it actually works, how we bring the dogs in and actually work with it. So normally, if, if you're not using a launcher, what you can do is you can actually sleep these pigeons. For some reason, you can tuck their head underneath their wing. And when you do that, and you shake them a little bit, they actually go to sleep. Now this one's asleep. So you could put that bird in the grass and then we could go get a dog and hopefully come back before he kind of starts coming around. So sometimes we'll use them that way. Uh, with dogs that we're not too concerned about grabbing a bird on the ground, if you get a young dog that hasn't been around a lot of birds, we're a little more concerned about a dog catching one on the ground, and so we prefer to use a launcher for that. Okay, you want to, launch, want to sure. load that one? In this feature, we try to cradle it so as not to hurt the bird. Get it nice and snug down in there. And once we have it in place, field training with multiple dogs works best having them on a chain gang. Metal stakes driven into the ground with heavy chain that has hookups spaced at different intervals provides a good place for the dogs to chill out waiting their turn. A basic drill using Sweet Lou to demonstrate has pigeons in launchers working on steadiness and marking birds. We use a check cord on younger dogs to correct any attempt at moving after the flush. Always good to give the old veterans some work to keep them sharp. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Walk in there, kick around like you're trying to flush it. I don't want him to break. Ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we have Adeline working on a launcher with a pigeon. I have released the check cord and she remains steady through the launch of the pigeon. Whoa. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Tell me when you're ready. ready. Whoa. Whoa. Since we got Addie up here, why don't you put it in the grass here somewhere and then we'll bring Addie in. Okay. There you go. Come on. Come on. So right now I'm going to try and sleep another pigeon. Sometimes they'll fight you a little bit. And then what I'll end up doing is planting it and we'll do exactly the same scenario we just did with the launcher, but this will not be in the launcher, obviously. Okay, he's asleep now. Notice his feet are dangling. Okay. So he's discombobulated right Let now. Bird. He's confused. Let a bird. Let a bird. Whoa, whoa. So now it starts coming around a little bit. It's getting more and more aware of the situation. And then it'll fly off into a tree. Good girl. <laughs> that one did. With those, rather than a launcher with those, you got to be ready to go because that bird wakes up. He wants to fly. Yep. So you got to be ready to go, don't you? Come on, Eddie. Let's go. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird, Dutchie. Find a bird. 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 Whoa. 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 Whoa! 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 Whoa!
launcher smooth. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Dodge. That's pretty good. I got the foot up. He's got a good song. Whoa. No, Dodge. Here. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Good, good job. Girl. Good girl. Here. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good girl. What happens is a lot of young dogs aren't quite confident with their nose, and so sometimes they'll want to get a little bit closer so they can see that bird on the ground. And she kind of does a little bit of that. She trusts her nose to a point, but she wants to take that one more step or two. And we don't want her doing that. And so uh, since she's already two years old, she needs to start learning that when she just goes on that point, she's gonna stay there. And as long as she stays steady, we'll let her keep that bird. But the minute she starts moving like she did just then, then we'll release the bird and she'll learn that if she wants to keep that bird, she'll just have to stay, stay put and not move. She's getting there. Yeah, she's getting there. Just takes lots of repetitions, lots of drills. That's why having pigeons out here on the property that we can use all the time for this, that's why that really helps us get our dogs to, to that higher level that we want to get them to. So we'll take Duchess back and we'll uh, we'll bring up, uh, we've we'll got Major, Major ready. Yeah, looks okay. Like it. I'm going to go get Major and Travis, we'll you want to load another bird? Many years ago, when Sweet Lou first came into our family, I discovered that gun dogs are athletes that can only reach their top potential with the dedication of their owners. Given commitment, slowly over time, we witnessed puppies develop into fine gun dogs. The memory of monotonous yard and field work fades away on that very moment when everything comes together with that first point and retrieve. The enjoyment for a lot of us comes from the journey that got us there. Through what I call the training bird experiment, we built a small loft to house 10 pigeons for use at our training ground. There is no doubt that pigeons have a valuable place in the training protocol, and developing a renewable source of homing pigeons often accelerates the timetable. Along the way, I have a whole new appreciation for the special abilities of these amazing birds. Right there, hold on, I'll just say, right on top of it. Just it yeah. Kick it with your foot, Don't let her get the bird though. Let her get it. Whoa. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. As I open the door of the loft, releasing the birds into flight, it is hard not to think of the homing pigeons' past roles on the battlefield. Life and death often resting solely on the wings of a homer such as these. While no longer found with a military function, their physical capabilities and intelligence still remain. With their help, perhaps the future of a fine gun dog may rest on these wings. Sweet Point Setter Tales is brought to you with support from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Wade Kisner with Sweet Point Setter Tales. Do you have an interesting story idea for a future episode? We'd love to hear about it. Drop us a line at sweetpointsetters.com.